There are five themes that tie into Métis identity. These are languages, culture and traditions, homeland history, Métis in Alberta, and governance. Today, we'll explore Métis history and identity. Tan say hello et bonjour, and welcome to our lesson. My name is Ms. Bowditch, and I will be facilitating today's lesson. I hope you enjoy and learn lots about Métis history and identity. Today, you will leave with a better understanding that the Métis people are a distinct, strong, vibrant culture and are unique from First Nations and the Inuit. Indigenous in Canada is an umbrella term for First Nations, Métis, and Inuit. The word Indigenous means originates from. The First Nation, Métis, and Inuit originate from the land we now call Canada. Our ancestors' footsteps have marked the land for thousands of years. Each Indigenous group is unique and distinct from the other. Now you may be wondering, hmm, who is Métis? All of the photos are of people who are recognized as Métis within the Métis Nation. Now the beauty about being Métis is that we all look very different as displayed on the screen ahead of you. There is not one person that looks like the other, which makes us all very unique. Métis people are more than just mixed. Métis means a person who self-identifies as Métis, who is distinct from other Aboriginal peoples, and is of historic Métis Nation ancestry. In addition to that, there are also people who are accepted by the Métis Nation. Next up, we are going to dive into the languages of the Métis people. I don't know about you, but I love to learn about languages I'm not too familiar with. I'm unsure if you remember, but in the beginning of my lesson, I used three different languages to say hello. Remember I said, tan se, hello, and bonjour. I would like to add a fourth language, Michif. Michif is an indigenous language that is uniquely Métis. You can say hello in Michif by saying tan chi. Today, Métis across the nation have four living languages. Those are Michif, Cree, English, and French. I would like you to repeat hello in these four languages. I will say them out loud and you can repeat them after me. Tan shi. Tan se. Hello. And bonjour. Let's try that again. Tan shi. Tan se. Hello. And bonjour. Understanding the importance of language is essential for helping students foster an appreciation of Métis culture. Now we'll transition into learning more about Métis culture and Métis traditions. Within Métis culture, there are many cultural symbols that are important to Métis people. A symbol has meaning within a culture because of its shared understanding of what the symbol represents. I'd like you to think about where you come from, perhaps where your parents come from, or even your grandparents. And I'd like you to reflect on some cultural items that are important within your own culture. I'll give you a moment to think about it. Now I'd like you to write them down. Once you've done so, I'd like to gather your attention to the left side of your screen, where there is an image of a wordle. Within the wordle, I'd like you to find a few items that are important to Métis people. I'll give you a few minutes to do so. Once you've found one, I'd like you to write them down. If not, you can find all of them, highlight them, and then write them down. Let's do it together. I see Sash. I see Bannock. I see Red. River Cart. I see Jig. What else do you see? Perhaps you see Fiddle. Spoons. 
buffalo, beaver, infinity, flag, moccasins, Let me know if I've missed any. I'd like you to play a game of I Spy with your partner. Go ahead and find a partner, perhaps it's a family member or a friend, and tell them what you see. For example, I spy with my little eye something that is red. You guessed it. It was the sash. But then again, there are other items that are red. Go ahead and have some fun with it. Once you've had your fun, I'd like you to label what you see. For instance, I see a beaver. I also see a fiddle. What do you see? I see a buffalo or a bison I see a red river cart I see moccasins. I see a flag, not your ordinary flag, a Métis flag. I see a spoon. I see bannock. Yum. Stay tuned because we will be making bannock in one of our lessons to come. I see a meaty sash.
And last but not least, I see the jig dancer. Now that you're familiar with the names of each cultural item, as seen on the previous slide, you can go ahead and match the pictures with the words. Connie Calhavi, a Métis artisan, created this beautiful artistic piece. Inside her heart, she included a Métis infinity symbol, as seen here, a Red River cart, the Métis fiddle, a canoe, the Métis sash, a fleur, and two moccasins. Attached to her piece, she wrote, Our stories, our history. The Métis people walk in the path of our ancestors. Now is the time to heal and celebrate our spirit. What a beautiful image. I'd like you now to go ahead and feel free to color in this image. Or you can create a heart of your own. And inside the heart, I'd like you to include some cultural items that are representational of the Métis people. You can go ahead and add some of your own cultural items too. Let's talk about Alberta. Alberta is composed of so many diverse communities, and one of them is the Métis community. There have been established Métis, Métis communities on these lands before Alberta became a province in 1905. Let's think about that. 1905. If we're in 2020 now, how old is Alberta? I'll give you a moment. Go ahead. You could take out your calculators. Hmm. Got it yet? All right, I'll share with you the answer. That would be 115 years old. Alberta is 115 years old. Wow, that is quite old. Now let's think, what does that mean for Métis people if they were here before Alberta became a province? That is quite a while ago. Did you know that there are more than 114,000 self-identified Métis in Alberta? What do you think it means to be Métis in Alberta? We'll talk a little bit more about that. Before we dive into what it's like as a Métis living in Alberta, I'd like us to first draw an outline of Alberta in your journal or a piece of paper. Go ahead, take out your pencils. I'd then like to direct your attention to the right side of the screen where you'll find a outline of the map of Alberta. Let's just talk a little bit about it. The top part here borders with the Northwest Territories. This part here borders with Saskatchewan. This part here borders with the United States of America. This part here borders with the Rocky Mountains. Or should I say, they are the Rocky Mountains, and it borders with British Columbia, and above that as well, borders with British Columbia. Add an infinity sign inside what you've drawn, inside Alberta. Hmm, why might you think the infinity sign is in the province of Alberta? I'll give you a moment. Well, because Métis people were here before Alberta was a province. Let's move on into homeland history, where we learn all about Métis history. What do you think homeland means? Hmm. I'll give you a hint. It has the word home in it. Hmm. Where is your homeland? Where do you come from? It may be different from mine, 
or it may be the same. As you'll notice, to the right of your screen, there is a map. Inside the map of Canada, there is a highlighted blue spot. This area is known as the Historic Métis Nation homeland, which includes the three prairie provinces and extends into parts of Ontario, British Columbia, parts of the Northwest Territories, and parts of the United States. As Métis people, we are a proud nation. Alberta is in fact a central part of our homeland. As a people and a nation, we were born of this place. We are Indigenous. As a Canadian citizen, I'm sure you've heard the Canadian anthem. Oh, Canada, our home and native land. I'll spare you my singing, but that's the one. Just like Canadians have their own anthem, Métis people have their anthem as well. This is called the Métis anthem. I'd like you to go ahead and, hey, try singing it. Have some fun. You can copy and paste the link that's provided into your toolbar and play along. Enjoy singing. Let's now move on into the governance of the Métis Nation. Louis Riel is a very important figure to the Métis people. As you'll notice to the left side of your screen, there he is in form of an avatar. He says, Bonjour, I am Louis Riel, Métis leader and founding father of Manitoba. I fought for the rights of my people. I am a hero to many. If you go ahead and click the avatar for Louis Riel, it will take you to the Rupert's Land AR app. You can learn more about Louis Riel by clicking on the many faces of Louis Riel here. To the left of your screen, you'll notice a beautiful art piece done by Edmonton Métis beater Cristaletti. Cristaletti spent hours creating this beautiful portrait of Louis Riel. Letty's beadwork is influenced by the teachings and patterns of her Métis ancestors, particularly her grandmothers whose spirit she brings into each piece she creates. I'd love you to get some inspiration from Letty's work and to go ahead and translate your artistic expression by colouring in the image that you see on the right of your screen of Louis Riel. Enjoy and have fun. I'd like to thank you for all your awesome attention, and I hope you've learned lots from this presentation. It's time to get up and move a little. Start jigging.